What's up? I'm Chris of Emery. I draw and animate silly stuff. Uh, uh, Jackson is every detailed drawing basically. Yeah, it's just drawing. Like, uh, I just add a new layer. And uh, usually the way I do it, like if you look at the, those trees, I do the outline first. So if I wanted to draw a tree here, I would just make sure I have a solid uh, brush. Just do the outlines like that. I make sure it's closed. And uh, I continue with some detail like that perhaps and then I uh, duplicate that layer I fill it with something like that and then I uh, make a selection out of it and do my so I still have the outlines above everything and underneath that I do my uh, like some detail shade stuff uh, like this is how I would do a like tree in this universe like that so then I can just then I uh, also uh, merge those two so now I have a layer out of that little tree thing so I could perhaps transform horizontal and I could have it in the bottom here for example or, or whatever and that's how I do basically every layer in this thing uh, I'm jumping straight into After Effects. Uh, let's go 90, 20. Yep. Yeah, so uh, for a few weeks ago, I uh, dropped this uh, episode where I asked people to ask, send me questions, and uh, I got a lot of questions, which which is awesome. Uh, So now it's time to uh, kind of answer those questions in a fun new episode. So I'm just jumping straight on the artwork that I've already made here. Popping it into the scene. So let's go into this. Mm. Composition settings. 1080 so creating a camera new camera okay yep and a new null object doing all my layers in 3d Then when, when I move my null object, I move all the stuff in my scene. I'm going to just put down the uh, quality somewhat. All right. Mm. I think I want it from going up like that. Sort of revealing the stuff. But I also do want the uh, layers uh, to be kind of far apart. Um, let's go into four views so you can see the top view. And then I want is this 
Yep, let's take the all these layers and put them back a bit. Make them bigger. Then do the same thing with the bottom three. I want those even more further apart. Back bushes. Yeah. So now, if I pan my camera and we have one week view, we should get a cool, smooth, somewhat. depth got some depth in the picture let's move those even further back hmm like that perhaps gotta make them bigger though that and let's see how this looks yeah well I see that I missed that part other than that though it's starting to look kind of cool perhaps it should just be even further away Something like that. Let's try a s uh, slow pan. Uh, well, my composition can be... Okay, let's go for 10 minutes. And I'm thinking I'm coming from there. Let's put some easy ease on that thing. Don't want it to go like too fast. Or too slow. Yeah, something like that. I believe if I don't remember totally wrong if yep that's the lamp I can flicker this thing uh, or wiggle perhaps I'm just trying out things Yeah. So now what happened right now is that I added the uh, expression wiggle to the opacity. 
settings under my uh, lamp that little green lamp I want it to just flicker a little bit see what happens if I put 30 there instead I don't remember which one is speed and which one is uh, like value opacity value uh, no, let's put 100 okay so that's clearly how much it will flicker so this is I believe uh, my base for the upcoming uh, episode yeah because I basically I draw I draw my background in different layers like this so I have my front part and uh, then as we go further back in the, in the uh, in the scene I just do like draw 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 them in different layers and then put together into After Effects I just have them all in layers put into uh, so they are 3D layers and with a camera I don't always use camera but in this case so that you see that there is somewhat depth. In there. Uh, I'll probably do a tutorial or something in the future because I realize it's going way too fast here to... But I hope you get the uh, base idea of it.